I'll start with the uh, word update. As you may already noticed, um, we had released the online only requirement set about a month ago, uh, back to May for Word GS APIs. This set is special uh, because the APIs in it are available only for web version of Word. You may uh, argue that uh, GS APIs should support multiple platforms instead of just the web, uh, but the, the reason we are doing so is uh, to provide an opportunity for the add-ins, which are built primarily for web users, to get things quicker. Because yes. web APIs can have more frequent deliveries uh, comparing to the desktop version uh, in, in our internal process. The APIs in the set are uh, production APIs so that um, uh, your released add-in can uh, directly take advantage of them, even though uh, your add-ins uh, users may be mostly desktop users, you still can um, take this chance to release a version uh, or take advantage of some of the web capabilities uh, for your released add-ins. This is not saying that uh, all the future features or functions will go into this set first. We just uh, uh, selectively choose which APIs will go into the set. And finally, uh, in the end, sometimes in the future, all the APIs will go to the uh, multi-platform support. For um, our policy here is that we will make sure uh, in most of the cases, uh, you know, the, all the platform uh, will have the same set of the APIs. Although we have exceptions, but we'll keep that exceptions as small as possible. And now um, we have uh, three major feature areas supported for this uh, online only requ requirement set. Um, we, we have footnote and no support. We have comments. We have track changes. In uh, back to um, February, we had a introduction for the um, comments and track changes as preview version. Uh, but in the uh, GA version in this on, uh, only uh, set, we added more capabilities for comments, uh, and also we add the support for footnote and, and, and notes for support. So here is a demo for you that uh, to show how do we support footnotes and endnotes APIs. You can actually insert uh, insert the footnotes and notes through the range object, and also you can select the uh, endnote footnotes from different object, and you can also navigate to a specific note in your add-in. And also, we have uh, some asks about the fields APIs, and uh, we listened and we achieved, um, you know, we implemented this uh, field API in our preview set as well. But uh, the interesting part here is that we have this field support in the web only preview right now, so that you can directly try them. Right now, we support the get the collections of the fields uh, so that you can navigate all the fields you have through uh, different types of the, uh, the word object. And coming in next, we will, uh, so here are the candidates for next GA release. Uh, by saying GA release, uh, I mean that it is a release that support all the platforms. Uh, I can tell you that we will have uh, more frequent cadence of delivery uh, word APIs in the coming months or years. Um, and the most recent one or the next one uh, will probably come in six months uh, by the end of this year or earlier next year. So in that set, we will have like track changes, comments, etc. on uh, those features to be included. But these are just the candidates, right? So we always can, you know, have some chance to do some changes here. And uh, please tell us uh, what you expect for the future GA releases and if you want to take advantage of a more frequent deliveries for Word APIs. Thanks very much. Thanks, Yoon. Very cool to see all this coming out for Word APIs.